The Marvel Legends HasLab Ghost Rider campaign seemingly continues to struggle, regardless of Hasbro officially revealing the Mephisto figure. A new Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian 2-pack, more DC Multiverse reveals, and a whole lot more. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> you action figure enthusiasts out there jc here and welcome to a wednesday edition of tni news and as always we've got a lot to cover today and let's start off with some news on the marvel legend front so first of all uh just an update on that marvel legends has lab ghost rider campaign for the robbie reyes and his muscle car so um that campaign seems to continue to struggle a bit um yesterday hasbro went on and officially revealed the first uh, stretch goal which is in fact the mephisto figure as we all suspected and uh honestly we didn't see like i wouldn't consider it a huge boost in backers since, since that figure was revealed now the render is this is only a digital render According to Dan Young from Hasbro, the figure uh, Mephisto figure will be seven inches tall and it will feature uh, the pinless technology. So um, that has been confirmed again by Hasbro. Now, in order for the Mephisto figure to be included with the, the campaign, it is going to need to get 12,000 backers. The minimum number needed for the campaign is 9,000 backers. As I'm filming this, the campaign is currently at 4,837. So yesterday it did finally break the halfway mark to that 9,000 minimum. But again, it, it is still going fairly slowly um, as far as the number of backers that it's getting. And the real problem here is while, while the campaign itself has until uh, October 31st, um, the first uh, goal, which is the early bird figure, the human form Robbie Reyes, um, in order for that to be included with the campaign, then the campaign needs to get to the 9,000 backers by the end of this coming Friday. So today's Wednesday, we've got the rest of today, Thursday, and Friday. So at the current pace that, that this has been going this week, that that early bird figure is looking very much to be in jeopardy of not being included with this campaign and i think if that happens then that's going to start to create this kind of domino effect where you know people who are maybe backing the campaign just to see what the stretch goals are are going to start canceling because you know the perceived value of this which obviously some people don't feel is there to begin with but, you know, they're going to say, well, that's one less figure that's now not going to be included. So I I'm just not going to bother with this. So um, I feel like if it does, you know, it, it is going to be kind of a, 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 a striking blow to this campaign. If, in fact, this campaign does not reach the, the not minimum 9,000 by this by the end of this coming Friday. So we'll have to see. Now, one thing I will say is Hasbro has opened this up to other uh, retailers for people outside of the Pulse, which I talked about that on, on Monday. But then just today, Hasbro announced that they are also opening the Pulse uh, website itself up to more folks in the EU. So uh, you, if you live in uh, France, Spain, Italy, and Australia, you can now uh, buy stuff off the Pulse website, which should include the HasLab. You should now be able to, if you want to add this to your collection and you live in those places, you should be able to now go to the Hasbro Pulse website and, and, and do that. And so that might open uh, this campaign up to more people. And so we'll have to see if that creates a, a, a big influx of, of new subscribers between now and Friday. I, I, you know, I, I certainly won't say that's impossible, but, but we'll have to see. But again, if we do not reach that, that minimum goal by this coming Friday, the end of this Friday, and the early bird figure gets scratched off the list, then, then I do really feel like we could see a, a domino effect and this campaign could in fact be in jeopardy of not being funded at all, um, even with things like the Mephisto figure. So again, we'll just have to wait and see. Now in other Marvel Legend news this week, uh, what appears to be a new Marvel Legends Wakanda Forever Deluxe figure has shown up. Uh, images have shown up online. This uh, does contain, I guess you might consider minor spoilers. 
but um and this has not been officially announced by hasbro as of yet though there have been rumors of this figure coming so it is of the character ironheart and what i think they consider the the mark one or mark two I, I lose track but uh the armor that essentially the main armor i think she might have two armors in the movie i'm not sure she's also obviously getting her own series but um this is uh, a figure which i believe is going to be a target exclusive that's not been officially confirmed again this entire figure has not been officially announced by hasbro and i don't know the original source of these images they started floating around social media and reports indicated that somebody found the figure at a target store but i don't know if it was actually like on on the shelf being sold or or somebody in the back room took a picture or what so uh details are still a little bit sketchy on this one i i do think this is an actual figure that is coming um, so, you know, I, I do think the images is real, um, and you can see that the figure has an alternate, uh, unhelmeted head and some mul multiple pairs of hands and some blast effects and everything. So, um, again, this, uh, Ironheart figure, which I, I think will be a Target store exclusive, and I will see if I can get some more information on this soon, like a DPCI number and such, or, you know, if we start seeing it more at stores, obviously that information will end up online as well, but... But again, uh, look for this probably to be announced in the fairly near future. Okay, now sticking with Marvel, but moving on from Marvel Legends, I also just wanted to let you know that overseas company Sentinel has uh, put up for pre-order their new SV uh, um, action Spider-Gwen and Spider-Ham figure from Into the Spider-Verse uh, movie. So we'd seen uh, this figure on display at some overseas shows and things like that and promo images had surfaced uh, last week. But this figure is now available at places like our sponsors Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And I will also tell you in one of the images that Sentinel released, they uh, show a teaser for what looks like a Spider-Man Noir figure for this line. So, you know, it's blacked out and everything, but you can pretty much tell that Spider-Man Noir. So that's likely going to be the next figure in this SV action line. So if you've been collecting these, if you're into, into the Spider-Verse, uh, these are ones that you might want to check out. Now moving on to Star Wars, so going up for pre-order today, it's available now, and I, last time I checked it was still available online. This is an Amazon exclusive, it's a Star Wars Black Series 3-pack featuring Ahsoka, The Mandalorian, and Grogu from Season 2. So um, this these figures we've all pretty much gotten, however with this set you get the added soft goods cloak for Ahsoka, you get Mandalorian Spear... Um, I think those are the main things that, that are new to this set. So uh, this set is going to cost you uh, $67, so it does have a hefty price tag. Um, at first I was like, why would, you know, we've gotten these figures, but then I remembered like the, the Mandalorian, which, uh, you know, the deluxe uh, Target exclusive one, which like I have yet to get. In fact, I got an email this morning saying that it was going to now arrive in early October. That one was $40, so I went on and actually canceled that one and went on and got this one. Because even though I already have the Ahsoka, uh, the regular Black Series Ahsoka figure they did, um, I figured, you know, what the hell, uh, it was worth, you know, getting the cloak and the spear. And since I hadn't gotten my Target exclusive one of the Mandalorian, I just canceled my pre-order and, and, and went on and got this one. But... You know, you'll have to decide if it's worth the money or, or what have you. But again, this is an Amazon exclusive and it is available for pre-order now. Now, one final thing from Hasbro I wanted to share with you. So yesterday they released this teaser image for their new starting lineup NBA 6-inch figures. This is our best look at the figures to date, which honestly is not a great look. But these figures are going to be going up for pre-order tomorrow, which is the 22nd, Thursday the 22nd. Um, now, I don't think Hasbro specifically said, but I don't think these figures are going to be a general release. I don't know if these are going to be Pulse exclusives or if they will be released at Pulse and maybe some major retailer. Something major like NBA, I would feel like these would see some type of release at, at mass retail. But like, don't expect these to go up for pre-order tomorrow at places like Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. Um, so, um, again, I, I won't say like these are pulse exclusives and they might be available. You know, I could see them being available at someplace like Walmart or target or something, but, um, um, you know, 
tomorrow we will get the full reveal for this first wave of figures um you know they've been teasing these uh throughout the month with accessories and things like that so we'll get the full reveal we'll see the actual players that are going to be included in this wave um and and when those details become available we'll be sure to update on on tni but i just want to let you know that you know those nba figures and these are supposed to be articulated um you know on par with kind of marvel legends that type of thing i believe so sports figures with you know good articulation we've seen the backboard accessory you know where you can like their figure stands with the basketball backboards so you can you know kind of make it look like they're dunking and stuff have the basketballs and everything so kind of cool you know i'm personally not really into sports figures but but um at least based on the teases you know if i were i, I would say this line is somewhat tempting i don't know what the price is going to be on these we haven't gotten pricing information or anything like that either so again those details should become available tomorrow okay now let's jump into mcfarland toys so i've got a number of things i wanted to share with you today in regards to that so first of all i wanted to share this image that popped up online uh, from the overseas message boards uh, I'll credit Alex Chen for finding this he, he this isn't his image but but he was the first one I saw to post this so it appears to be a, a prototype a factory sample for uh, the Supergirl figure from the Injustice uh, wave you know this is technically based on the comic book that's included this is part of the seven inch pa uh, DC page punchers the first wave is already up for pre-order which has the green arrow and and the Batman figure and then the second wave includes Supergirl and and another version of Dr. Fate which is likely going to be just the same Dr. Fate we already got with some minor uh, variations to it like we saw with the green arrow so but this uh, supergirl figure is new uh, again should be part of wave two uh it might not look exactly like this since this uh does appear to be a factory sample but um and i don't know when the second wave is going to be going up for pre-order probably fairly soon but but i don't have any exact dates on that but again i just want to go in and share this kind of first look at the dc page punchers injustice to comic book based supergirl figure Listed on Target is that Black Adam movie DC Multiverse Black Adam figure with the throne. So we had seen this figure already show up overseas, but it is now listed on Target's website. It has not yet gone up for actual purchase yet. Now this figure was originally listed as a gold label figure, which would suggest here in the US it's going to be a store exclusive and being it's up at Target likely a target exclusive however there's nothing on the packaging or even on the listing at target that says it's an exclusive or a gold label figure so all i have on that regard is that originally when we saw the overseas listings for this figure it was listed as a gold label figure which makes me think this is probably going to be a target store exclusive and again it is listed on target's website now we've got the official images here thanks to target and when it becomes available again we'll be sure to update on tni going up for pre-order on the mcfarland store website today is the dc multiverse rebirth kid flash figure so previously we had gotten the the one based on the death metal uh, series but this is based on you know this is more of a traditional comic book version of kid flash so this is being offered as a McFarland store exclusive. It is a gold label figure. Again, it is available for pre-order now. If you use the code MTS10, you can get 10% off, which equates to about $2. Um, the thing that kind of sucks about ordering stuff from the McFarland store is their shipping is very expensive. Like for me, the cheapest uh, shipping on this one was like $11. So almost as much as the figure itself. But again, it is being released as a McFarland store exclusive. And according to McFarland, it should ship out in November. Though, honestly, as quick as the McFarland store stuff has been getting stuff in, um, it may ship out sooner than that. So if you want a, a rebirth or com more comic book, uh, regular comic book based uh, Kid Flash, again, it is available for pre-order now. Okay, and then finally for today, I have a new rumor report on the McFarland toy front, which basically equates this is not something that has been officially confirmed by McFarland Toys, but it is something that has started to see uh, listings pop up for overseas. Now, this is in regards to the upcoming Flash movie, so minor spoiler alert, but nothing too major um, and nothing too surprising, honestly. 
Now, previously I had told you guys how in the Target system, products for the movie had started to show up, including a Michael Keaton Batmobile, which according to Target is gonna cost $80. So there's also a Ben Affleck motorcycle that's gonna cost 30 bucks. Now, besides those vehicles that showed up in the Target system, I have now seen listings, and this isn't surprising, I mean, being we're getting uh, a Batmobile for Michael Keaton, it's not surprising we're also getting a seven inch figure, but I've now seen overseas listings for seven inch uh, Michael Keaton Batman from the Flash movie. I've not seen anything for like Michael Keaton, you know, like an original Michael Keaton Batman. Not saying McFarlane couldn't do that, but I've not seen anything for that. These are listed as product for the movie. So I'm assuming it's Michael Keaton based, you know, older and based on, on the upcoming movie. I've seen a 12 inch uh, Michael Keaton Batman figure listed as well. Now those generally, the 12 inch figures don't have a lot of articulation. They're more like statues. There's actually an unmasked version of Michael Keaton and a masked version in the 12 inch line. And then for right now, at least I've only seen uh, uh, one listing for uh, just a regular Michael Keaton Batman in the seven inch line. Also Ben Affleck Batman, who's is gonna be in it. Again, he's getting a motorcycle. It, it makes sense he's also getting the figure. So not too surprising. Flash, obviously, and then also Supergirl. Uh, we've seen the images uh, floating around the internet of Supergirl from this movie, and it looks like she is also getting a 7-inch uh, DC Multiverse figure um, in, in this assortment. So as I said, I don't know in, when exactly we might see these. Uh, they're listed for overseas as being March of next year, but, you know, again, with the movie kind of in flux and, and all that, you know, I, I would take any kind of release date with a grain of salt. And of course, if, if something happened and, and the movie got completely scrapped, which I won't say is out of the realm of possibility, um, you know, that might end up scrapping the toys altogether. I, I don't know. But right now it does look like we are getting uh, obviously product from, uh, from McFarlane for the Flash movie, including uh, Michael Keaton, Batman. Uh, which I think is something a lot of people would like to see. I definitely am interested to see the Batmobile as well. You know, $80. I don't expect it to be super detailed or anything like that, but but I, de I definitely am interested to see that one, which again, we've seen, I've seen overseas listings for that as well as the listings in Target. It's Target's the only place where I've seen the price listed though, which again, had it listed at $80. Okay, so that's it for today. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comments section below. Like the video if you're so inclined, and please think about subscribing to the channel if you're interested in getting all the latest action figure updates. This is definitely the place to be. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great!